Hello everyone, Pete here, and let's test out the brand new AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2.1 update against lossless scaling 3 across 3 games, including a super popular one and also one of the hottest games right now to see which one is the winner. So as we start, I'm going to plug in my Ally X to get the most FPS possible by unlocking the 30W Turbo Mode. My RAM is set to 8GB and I fully optimised my Ally for gaming using my guide. So let's load up our first game, which is the amazing Forza Horizon 5. And man, this game looks absolutely stunning on the Ally's 1080p screen. Remember that we're not going to use the real-time monitor within Command Center for AFMF, as this gives inaccurate readings when using this frame gen. Instead, let's head into the AMD app, into performance, into the overlay section, and enable metrics overlay right here. By the way, I don't know if you guys have noticed a weird quirk with Forza 5 in that the accelerate is set to the left trigger by default for some reason. So let's head into the controls area in game settings, click on a profile, set accelerate to the right trigger. Ah, yep, yeah, that's much better. So we can see that AFMF 2.1 or lossless scaling is not enabled and on default settings at 1080p resolution we're getting around the 60 FPS mark which of course is extremely playable. It looks fantastic and let's see if we can get an even more enjoyable experience by adding frame gen. So let's head into the game settings. In the video area let's disable VSync which is needed when using any frame gen. Let's turn the new fluid motion frame 2.1 to on. And back in the game, we've now literally doubled our FPS around the 120 region, which is crazy. I'd love to know what you guys think, but for me, it still looks absolutely amazing. There's no discernible visual quirks or imperfections going on with this new 2.1 update as we whiz by the palm trees. And while I wouldn't say it's 0% lag free, I do think latency is definitely lower on this 2.1 compared to the older 2.0 fluid motion frames. So let's now turn full screen to off in-game settings, which is needed for lossless scaling. And then in the AMD app, turn AFMF 2.1 off. Disable the AMD metrics overlay. Load up the awesome lossless scaling app. Enable the draw FPS toggle to accurately monitor the correct FPS. Our multiply is set to times two to double our frame rate. And let's turn scaling to off as in-game we're already at 1080p. Okay, so back in the game, lossless scaling has given us around 110 FPS, which is very slightly lower than the AFMF 2.1's 120 FPS. And this version of frame gen also looks absolutely fantastic. There's no apparent weird warping or artifacting, for example, with the telephone poles or the scenery. Latency wise, it feels fantastic. And I don't know about you, but so far it's pretty much a dead heat at the moment between AFMF 2.1 and lossless scaling 3. Now let's try out our second game, which is GTA 5 Online with the enhanced version that recently got added to Game Pass. And a huge thanks to our great viewer Mr Hedgehog for suggesting this. So we're on 1080p default settings and we're getting around the 30 FPS mark, which is kind of playable, but obviously not super smooth. But with it being 1080p, it does look amazing. So in the AMD app, let's now add AFMF 2.1. In the in-game settings, let's turn VSync off. And whoa, we've now quadrupled our FPS to now be in the 120 FPS range. And so as a result, this is super smooth now. I don't know how well this is coming through even on this 4K recording, but there is some noticeable screen tearing. Some weird warping going on. For me, this does take me out of the game somewhat. And if you do know how to eliminate this when using AFMF 2.1, then please do drop a comment below. So in graphics, I'm now on windowed borderless. Let's take off AFMF 2.1 then launch lossless scaling, and we're now hitting just above 100 FPS. And this now feels so much smoother than without any frame gen on. While there's some very slight visual warping going on, I would say it's not nearly as bad as AFMF 2.1. I'd be really happy playing this game on this. There's no real noticeable lag, and I think I'm gonna give this test to lossless scaling. So with Forza 5 being a draw, lossless scaling picking up the win with GTA 5, let's see if AFMF 2.1 can even the score with the final game. And finally, let's test out one of the hottest games right now, Claire Obscure Expedition 33. I've done a best settings guide for this, link below, which takes us from 25 to around 35 FPS right here. And even more importantly in that guide is a patch for a global illumination issue that affects all Unreal Engine 5 games like this. And as we can see the lighting out after this patch is just gorgeous. Here in the dockyard in the night the lanterns glow perfectly now. So we're on full screen and let's disable VSync. Let's enable AFMF 2.1. We're back in the game and there doesn't appear to be any increase in FPS 
or noticeable difference with AFMF 2.1 on. Now I did cover an issue with some Xbox Game Pass games not working with AFMF in this vid, link below. So to fix this, let's quit the game, go to C drive, then the Xbox games folder, then the game folder, which in this case is Claire Obscure, then content, then find the game.exe launch file, which strangely isn't called Clair Obscure, which would make sense, but instead it's called Sandfall for some reason. So right click on the sandfall.exe file, then show more options, then create shortcut. And we now have a shortcut right here on the .exe game launch file. Then in the gaming and game section in the AMD app, click on the three dots, then add a game, then the Xbox games folder, then the Claire Obscure folder, then content. And if we click on the sandfall.exe file, then it will not open due to a permission error. And that's why we created this new shortcut for the .exe game launch file. So we can select this. And now the game has been added to the AMD app, so it should now recognize it so that we can now use it with AFMF 2.1. So let's click on this newly added shortcut. Let's press the red launch game button. We're now back in the game launched through the AMD app. So AFMF 2.1 should now have fully kicked in and nope, there still doesn't seem to be any meaningful improvements with AFMF 2.1. Ah, so I've gone back into the AMD app and check this out guys. The frame gen status says it's inactive due to an unsupported graphics API. And so AFMF 2.1 does not support Claire Obscure. Uh oh. Let's toggle off AFMF 2.1, toggle the overlay off, back in the game settings, select windowed mode, load up lossless scaling, hit the blue scale button, quickly get back into the game, and wow, we're now in the low 50s FPS. It feels really nice and smooth. There is some ever so slight warping when moving the camera quickly, but it does look fantastic, and I'd be very happy playing it with lossless scaling on just like this. Of course, we can upscale with lossless scaling too. So in graphics, let's drop down to 900p. In scaling, select LS1. Increase the sharpness to say 4. We can see that the status bar confirms that we've scaled from 900 to 1080p now. And whoa, back in the game, we're now hitting the 60s and even 70s FPS. This feels super smooth to play and we'd have a great experience with this. I would love to hear whether you think that AFMF 2.1 or Lossless Scaling 3 is better. So let us all know in the comments. But for me though, the winner is Lossless Scaling 3. As while it was a draw on Forza 5, GTA 5 Online Enhanced had less visual imperfections with Lossless Scaling, and AFMF 2.1 didn't even work with Claire Obscure. Never mind, has issues with quite a few Game Pass games. Plus one of our great viewers, Ron Petrus. Man, you guys are so, so smart commented that Asus has seemingly pulled the update due to bugs and crashes in games like The Last of Us Part 2. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Life is short, so let's spend it with people who make us laugh and feel loved. Yes, life really is too short to be around toxic people who bring us down and create loads of anxiety and stress in our lives. So let's focus on being around the people who bring warmth and positivity into our lives. So stay encouraged today, guys. And as an extra bonus treat for staying right to the end, here's our gorgeous rescue cat and her name is Pancake. If you enjoyed today's video, then check out my best settings guide for Claire Obscure Top Right or Oblivion Remastered on the bottom right. Please like, subscribe, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.